right? They, they, we don't just pick up the phone. My, my son's been missing five minutes, send the police. No, mm -hmm. that's not how it works. First of all, they're afraid of us. That's a major message. Like parents are scared to death to call the police for help with their special needs child. And that bothers me on a lot of levels um, for two reasons. A, they're afraid that we're gonna come, we're gonna uh, misunderstand their kid, mm -hmm. uh, apply too much force, physically hurt them. Right. Which is black and white, I get that, right? But the other reason I'm getting when I ask, and I ask, I mean, thousands of families around the world, why are you afraid? Like, uh, The other reason is they're afraid of judgment. They think that if they call 911, we're gonna come to their house, we're gonna see them failing in that moment. You lost your kid, right? I failed five times. I will not make any any excuses. I dropped the ball. Um, but they're going to see us failing. They see the house in disarray. You know, see whatever emotional episode is going on. Right. Judge them as unfit parents. Call DIFUS and have a kid taken away from them. It's literally what families think, which causes them to hesitate. They don't want to call. Like I'll I'll deal with this myself. Right. So by the time your son, your their child goes missing, they pick up a phone and develop the courage to call for help. You're 45, 45 minutes into that call. If you show up there and you don't know the right questions to start asking, and you put out this bullshit, all oh, you're just looking for an eight-year-old autistic kid wearing a red shirt, good luck. If that's your strategy going into that call, we're gonna lose them.